many people have tagged me in this. Okay, the setup. Let's go on YouTube. Let's find the DNF tag because every man and his damn dog has tagged me in this. I didn't really want to do this tag because I don't DNF, so I don't think I'm gonna like even do like a good job of it. But Paula from Draw Your Bug, or like below, is like the ninth person who's tagged me in this. So I'm doing it. Doing it. People clearly want to know my responses to this but hey you know what maybe by giving it a go we'll 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 find something juicy you know what i mean we'll find some we'll find some juicy nuggets of dnf question one do i dnf no i used to i used to and then i became really accustomed to what i like and what i don't like so when i pick up a book i am like in the mindset of you wanted to read this, you're gonna read the damn thing, and that's pretty much how it's gone. That's like that, 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 that's it. The only time I wish I could DNF is if I'm doing something like say the long list of the Booker Prize, and I'm really not getting on to something. And there are times, there are times when I just don't want to finish it. I just don't. I just need sales of gold. Um, but in order for me to review it, like. I need to do it. I need to push myself through. But again, I'm kind of in that space of like, I'm going to do this book this week. I'm going to review it. So it kind of gives me like a little bit like a push on. But yeah, like when I was like trying to figure out like my taste, what I like, what I what I like in the mood for. I think really think that's like like a really good way of putting it. Like currently now, like my objective is to read books that I want to read and the time and effort that I'm putting into them are worth it in some way, shape, or form. That's how it that's kinda how it is. That's how it is. Question two, if you DNF a book, does it count towards book read for the month? Okay, I don't DNF, but yeah, like if you've if you've read some of it, then yes it counts. <laughs> like of of course. Of course. Like if I've listened to half an album, if someone went, Oh, have you listened to let's find someone. It's like the most recent thing I put on my Spotify. Let's have a look. This will be, uh, I think it's, oh no, please don't be. I think it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Jasmine Bean. Great choice, Kieran. Oh, like if it was the half an album for it, if someone went, well, have you listened to the album? I go, yeah, like I've, I've listened to half of it. So if you read like half a book, yeah, of course I count. Yeah, of course. Like, okay, maybe if like you don't finish like 10% of it, maybe I wouldn't count it. But that would be, like, the same as, like, watching, like, the first five minutes of the film and be like, nah, we didn't fancy it. Like, if you've, like, at least put, like, some time and effort into it, then, yeah, 100%, like, it counts. So, if I said, no, if someone said, did you finish it? That's a different, that's a different thing. But, yeah, did you read it? Yeah, of course you read it. Next question. Is there a difference between DNF and just putting it down for a bit? Um, Yeah. <laughs> I'm so crap at DNF to me is that you didn't finish it and you ain't gonna finish it. Like you're never gonna finish it. It should be rather than did not finish, it should be did never finish. Like I'm not interested. That book goes second hand, I pass it on, ain't ain't deal with it. Putting it down for a bit now, if I put the book back on my shelf I'm like I will get back to you, Ducks Newbury port at some point. But then I'd be starting it from the beginning. But I'd say the difference between, like, a DNF would be, like, I'm ready to, like, give this book up. Like, I'm not interested. Like, ain't gonna read it. For a popular book, I have DNF'd. Um, a popular book? Um, wish I could say normal people, but I, I finished that and thought that was a load of twaddle. Okay, I'll go for two answers. Um, I can think of, like, a popular, like, commercial book i'm not sure if this is what this question is asking but like one that like did well quite recently i like a classic so the classic was perfume by patrick suskind i couldn't get into it i re i wasn't really like i i just didn't like it maybe i'll go back to it maybe i mean this is i was like 20 years old so it's like six years on me now maybe maybe i'll appreciate it but at the time no and then like a popular commercial book um my wife thought that it was called paulina and fran and it was absolute 
drivel. Oh, I don't even know why, like, someone published it. I don't remember what it was about, but it wasn't... It wasn't groundbreaking. A waste of ten quid, though, wasn't it? Um, a book that you wish you would DNF. Sally Rooney. Normal people. Oh, what? Why do people like it? This is what the story is. Connell kind of likes Miriam. Miriam kind of likes Connell. Um, they do something, and then they go, nah. And then they get back together. And Sally Rooney just copy pasted. Copy pasted. That's all we get. And even at the end, they end up on a ha. Huh. That's all it was. It was a bit crap. It wasn't. It was awful. If that's like a millennial love story, then as a millennial myself, guys, we need to do better. We need to do better. It was boring. It was so boring. And I watched the TV animation. I was like, okay, it was okay, I suppose, but it's just, oh, it's just a lot of, oh, I like your Marianne, and Mariam goes, oh, I like your Connell, and they go, do you like me, <laughs> and then Mariam goes, <sighs> they're just not, like, that. they're just normal, guys, they're just normal, they're just, they're just me and you, like, they've been in love, but they haven't. That's just like what normal people do. Don't. Well, yeah, yeah, but is like really? There'll be a sequel. I don't know when. There'll be a sequel. It'll be like, um, uh, call me by your name and find me. Like they'll like there'll be a sequel, and they'll be they'll be like every union party. And then Mario McConnell will be like, oh, I still kind of like you too. Copy paste. Copy paste. A Sally Rooney will be laughing to the bank. Just laughing. All the way home. Do you ever reattempt to read a DNF? Has this ever been successful for you? Um, there's too many books. Too many books. Um, and I think the books that I gave up on, I they they're not something that I would naturally have sought out, anyway. So I don't think I have ever attempted. Nothing's springing to mind. So sorry, Paulina and Fran. I know you're like begging for me to pick you back up, not to buy you again. Because as soon as you moved house, whoop, you went somewhere, probably to a charity shop. What do you do with the books you DNF? Get rid of them. Out of the house. I don't wanna. Get out. Get out. Don't wanna see ya. Do you choose more or less risky titles because of your stance on DNF? Probably say I'm quite safe. I think I know what type of book I would like. And sometimes that sounds a bit weird, but it was like Lincoln in the Bardo. Like, I didn't know anything about it, but from just reading the synopsis, I was like, this sounds interesting. Maybe if it's got, like, an award on it, I'll just, I'll take the punt on it. Probably, but I probably stay safe. I probably stay, I'm less risky. We'll say, I'll, I, I will say it, we'll say it, we'll say it. Tag five book two buddies, or however many people you want. I think everyone's done this. I think Everyone has done this, but, but, I will go for the book bully, the barn bookcase. Let's talk about book baby. I don't think you've done it. Come on, Kieran, you can think of two more people. I know I've, loads of people have done this already. Simon, Simon Savage, you're doing a video every day in November. This could be one in the bank. I'll put you on here. And... Someone else, let's go for Freshly Read Books. Freshly Read Books, Sarah from Freshly Read Books. There we go, five people. The Book Bully, The Bar Bookcase. Let's talk about books, baby. Simon Savage, Freshly Read Books. I think, I think I've done it. What have we learned from doing this? Sometimes, I don't do a tag because I feel as though I'm not bringing anything. And I feel as though this is, this is, exactly, this is exactly that. That some tags work for some people. Others, the questions just don't. They just don't fit. I don't. I just don't. I don't think we've learned anything about me. Like, was it a surprise that I didn't like normal people? 
But like, was that a shock? Was that a shock? Maybe wait, like, Paulina and Fran. You've learned about Paulina and Fran. Give Paulina and Fran a go. I mean, like like fifty pages of it. Just like kick it to the curb. <laughs>